Okay, welcome everyone. Let's full we'll start our third lesson, LO3, mm -hmm. which we'll cover today. Mm -hmm. My name is Anjum Satar. If you have any question, please drop me email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So yeah. today we'll go through LO3. LO3 is a learning outcome. Be able to prepare the statement of comprehensive income and statement of financial position, which we'll go through. Before starting our two-day lesson, we'll a bit you know, recap what we learned up to now. So LO1, uh, we learn about understand the function of accounting mm -hmm. within different types of tourism and hospitality organization, where we discuss about various types of organization. We discuss uh, transactions. We discuss about uh, sole trader. We discuss about limited company, the different sole trader, one person business. We discuss partnership between two and more person doing business up to maximum can be 20. Under the mm -hmm. Partnership Act 1890, which regulate and then we discuss about limited company. We can register the company as a private limited or public limited. Uh, we companies regulate and the company at 2006 when if we need to register the company, we can register the company in the company house. In actual your assignment, you just need to explain the key difference between them. What mm -hmm. are the advantages, disadvantages? Are they doing business sole trader, partnership and limited company? Public mm -hmm. limited company, can issue shares to the public. And uh, if we want to start public limited company, we need minimum 50,000 pound investment. And a public limited company issue shares to the public listed in stocks. And then we discuss about, uh, explain the difference between private sector and public sector, where we discuss about uh, private sector, all the companies, those doing business is private sector. Either is a public or private limited company. Mm -hmm. But the public sector meant by the companies owned by the government, like such as BBC, NHS, all these are the companies, mm -hmm. uh, organization, those are the public sector organization. Normally, they work for the in public interest. Then we discuss the accounting software. Accounting software, we mentioned Sage. Sage accounting software we can use to record the business transaction. Uh, we mentioned a bit Paxis. Paxis is quite popular software which we use in um, hotel and tourism industry a lot. Paxis is quite big software where dashboard and uh, quite integrate with, but the Sage is more accounting software where we can manage uh, um, all the accounting records, sale forecasts, and we can make the budget as well and, uh, by using this software. Then we discuss second lesson uh, where we discuss double entry bookkeeping. Uh, we discuss about debt click, what goes on the debit side, uh, expenses, estate, and drawings goes on the debit side. We discuss about click, uh, C stands for it goes credit side, L liability goes on the credit side, income goes the, on the credit side, and capital goes on the credit side. And then we discuss few. Entries we prepare few transactions. Then we discuss about VAT. VAT is a value added tax. Uh, mm -hmm. And I mention you VAT can be input VAT and output VAT. VAT normally is a tax which is indirectly government charge on anything, whatever you buy from, um, and almost everyone need to pay. We discuss about zero rated. Some product can be no tax. They are zero rated. Some product can be uh, reduced rate with like uh, domestic electricity bills on energy bills. We are paying 5%. Overall, we are paying standard is a 20%. So those mm -hmm. we discuss, which I'll go through today assignment as well and we'll see how we can help pay. Prepare cash receipt, cash payment and bank reconciliation. We discuss about bank reconciliation, how we can prepare. We discuss about cash book and bank book. We discuss about cash receipt and cash payment during last lesson. So today we'll go through uh, trial balance. Uh, by trial balance, we'll discuss statement of comprehensive income and statement of financial position. Okay. So what do we know? Do we know anything about trial balance? statement by? Are we ever no. heard about? Not really, no. 
in accounts, if you're a bookkeeper, you're keeping the record of business transaction in a systematically ways in the book. Based on the double entry bookkeeping rule, we call debt click like we learned in the previous lesson. So mm -hmm. trial balance is a bookkeeping worksheet in which you balances of all ledgers. So we have a cash ledgers, we have a capital ledger, we have expenses different. So all, you know, ledgers we do total into trial balance and the trial balance have both debit and credit side and both sides the balance should be equal. Okay. So a company prepare the trial balance uh, periodically, usually at the end of each uh, period and general purpose of producing trial balance to ensure the entry bookkeeping system are mathematically correct, uh, debit and credit correct. Because if I'm writing 100 on the debit side, I'm writing 100 on the credit side, so my balance should be equal. Mm -hmm. And easily we can track where we spend the money, what we bought, what is debit, what is the credit. So mm -hmm. this is one of example of trial balance. So we discussed a few things in previous lessons as well. What goes on the debit side, what goes on the credit side. We discussed debt click double entry bookkeeping rule. Uh, motor vehicle. Motor vehicle is our asset which we can use many years. Mm -hmm. which is uh, which is asset goes on the debit side so motor vehicle will goes on the debit side of the trial balance trial balance two columns then stock stock is the inventory which we use for uh, business purposes so that goes always on the debit side bank mm -hmm. balance bank balance if we have debit balance if nothing is written we are assuming in the bank is a credit but in our record is a debit so we'll we'll do our record which is which goes on the debit side Sale ledger control SLCA. It's called sale ledger control account. If we are selling something on credit to our customer, we're supposed to receive money later dates. Those are called debtors. Those are also known as trade receivable. So that's our asset which goes on the debit side. But mm -hmm. change ledger control account, which is creditors. If we buy something from our Buyers on credit, it's a liability we have to pay in future. So liability goes on the credit side, so we will write mm -hmm. on the credit side. Capital, mm -hmm. capital is our investment, which goes on the credit side. Sales is our income, which goes on the credit side. If sales goes on the credit side, sales return will go opposite side, which is a debit side. Mm -hmm. Purchases goes on the debit side, which is expense. Purchase return goes on the credit side. Bank charge, charge is our expense. Expenses always goes on the debit side when increased. Mm -hmm. Discount allowed, it means we are giving discount to our customer. So that's expense for a business will record on the debit side. Discount mm -hmm. received, if we are receiving discount is the income for us. So because we are paying less money to our suppliers, so we record on the credit side because the debt click rule we learned in the previous lesson. So that's based on wages and salary is expense. Expenses go on the debit side. Rent mm -hmm. and rate is expense like a console tax which goes on the debit side. Bad debts is mean if the customer is bankrupt, they can't afford it, they're not going to pay us. So we call bad debts. It's expense for business, so we record on the debit side. And mm -hmm. electricity, electricity is expense for a business, we record on the debit side. So when we record all these transaction debit and credit side, when we do total, our balance will be both sides equal. Okay. Any question? Uh, no, no questions at the moment. Okay. Next, we'll go through one question. We'll carry on throughout. So you are a trainee account accounting technician you're working in an organization like m Adam and co i suppose well, these are the bells is given our year end date always is given uh in account because date is very crucial in accounts so we need to make two column one debit one credit for trial balance trial balance mean all the ledger balances we can balance and the trial balance debit and credit if you're a bookkeeper you're working in a bookkeeping, you're doing entry, you do your entries according to double entry bookkeeping rules. 
and up to trial balance if you're a bookkeeper is your role to be record the transaction but if you're account and you prepare the final account which is called profit and loss statement also known as an income statement second mm-hmm. statement we call balance sheet balance sheet also known as statement of financial position mm-hmm. uh have we ever heard about profit and loss profit and loss um i guess but um not with any real sort of meaning i guess okay as the profit and loss it goes all the income and expenses in the profit and loss account okay any income business will make or we run and any expenses business will be a uh, we all record in the profit and loss mhm balance sheet which shows our asset how much how many worth of uh, how much worth of the asset we have in the company so we record in balance sheet we record liability in balance sheet as well and we record capital which will go through is called accounting equation so we have a land and building earlier we said anything we can use more than a year mm-hmm. or many years we call asset we call non current asset or fixed asset which we can use many years so land and building goes on the debit side motor vehicle what do you think is yeah. like asset it's it an asset on the debit, side. debit. Mm-hmm. fixture and fitting which is our asset fixture is mean different equipment and like you know the fixing things within mm-hmm. a shop or business that's also our asset which goes on the debit side office mm-hmm. equipment machinery equipment is our asset which goes on the debit side mm-hmm. bank is a cash is our asset goes on the debit side cash mm-hmm. itself is the asset it goes on the debit side sales is our income which goes on the credit side Sale mm-hmm. ledger is a trade receivable. We are selling things to our customer on credit, so we are receiving money in future date. That goes on the debit side as well. Capital okay. goes on the credit side, which is our investment. Sale mm-hmm. return goes on the debit side. Purchase it goes on the debit side as expense. Purchase ledger control is mean trade payable, which goes on the credit side. Drawing will goes on the debit side. insurance will go on the debit side advertising is expense goes on the debit side purchase return will goes on the credit side because the purchase is goes on the debit side purchase return will reduce my expenses that's why i'm putting on the credit side subsistence okay. or subsidized things you know is a discount is expense for business we are offering uh like if you are a worker you getting cheap loan or you getting discount like if you are as the employees you getting 10 20% discount or anything you buy or will buy so purchase wages and salary is expense for business telephone is expense for business or discount allowed we are giving is expense for business power heat is expense that goes on debit side carried out word have we heard about carried out word what is meant by no no idea carried carriages is a delivery charge okay carry out word or the carry in word maybe we heard about the term inbound call center and the outbound call center inbound mean the thing coming in it's yeah. mean the call coming in outbound mm-hmm. mean we are calling to customer that's the outbound okay so carried inward mean when we are buying things those are coming in our warehouse we call mm-hmm. carried in we are paying delivery charge carried outward mean when we are selling we are paying the delivery okay. charge both mm-hmm. are the expense for a business discount received is the income for business we are receiving mm-hmm. discount if we pay early to our supplier they give us discount that is received is the income for business uh rates is a expense for business bank charge is expense motor vehicle expense general expense training expense accountancy expense stationery postage expense stationery expense bank interest received if we are receiving interest from bank it means mm-hmm. we deposit money we have spare cash they are paying us interest the income for us that goes okay. to the credit side so i prepared the trial balance for you 
so trial mm. and, like land and building goes on the debit side motor vehicle goes on the debit side fixture and fitting so we can make two columns a uh, three columns so one uh, column of code description and the second column debits and third column credit so when we do the total our debit and credit balance will be <coughs> equal mm -hmm. any question no any questions thank you so that's the trial balance which assignment question will go through together as well so at okay. least you know we get the basic concept <coughs> so that's our trial balance all the ledger balances will be balanced into the trial balance so next okay. our 3.2 learning outcome will go through the statement of comprehensive income which is also known as is also called profit any company statement you can find the on their statement these are called financial statements mm -hmm. profit and loss statement or okay. other net we can use is called statement of comprehensive income it shows all the income and expenses of a company within 12 months last 12 months is a mm -hmm. historical figure which is based on the past figures so we'll go through here statement of comprehensive income is one of the five financial statement required complete set of the financial statement for the distribution of outside of a corporation is mean the company these statement we prepare those are compulsory four are the compulsory no fifth so is becoming a compulsory to publish so first statement we call profit and loss also known as statement of comprehensive income which shows mm -hmm. how much income we have during the period how much expenses we have how much tax we need to pay all this shows in the statement and we calculate all in the profit and loss account we'll see in a few company statement today and we'll see you know how we can apply uh, their profit and their losses okay. second second statement we call balance sheet which is also known as statement of financial condition balance sheet also known as statement of financial position if we want to see company how much worth of asset company has balance sheet it shows as uh, it shows asset how much asset company has asset always equal to liability plus capital so capital goes on the credit side and liabilities goes on the credit side and the asset goes on the debit side so my debit <laughs> side is should be equal to my left hand should be equal to right hand so that's we call so we will go through so first statement profit and loss second statement balance sheet or we call statement of financial position third statement come prepare the cash flow statement how, my, how much money in and out of from the business fourth statement the company with how many shares we call shareholder statement or chain in equity statement and the last statement we call corporate social responsibility ability how much pull uh, company how much they are spending money towards reducing co2 what the how they help how much they are helping local people are creating job or social you know organization so that's sort of the statement that so now you becoming a compulsory for big companies to produce mm -hmm. so first we go through the profit and loss as mentioned earlier it shows the profit and loss so our statement this is the template normally we can so revenue what is meant by revenue have we heard ever revenue revenue is really the, the profit i guess that company makes revenue sales and turnover is the same thing okay. no different so some companies say my revenue is this my sales is this my turnover is this so no that different is the income yes so within 12 months or within quarter we say quarterly sales quarter 
yes quarterly turnover is the same thing, no difference they these are three words we interchangeably carry using in accounts okay so second first we record always revenue second we record always cost of sales cost of sales means how much cost me to buy it so i'm selling 100 pound i bought it 50 pound so 50 pound is my profit yes is a gross profit gross mm-hmm. profit is not a net profit we have overhead expenses so like yeah. you know which industry you working you working in school yes yeah school yeah oh, so we in school we can say our revenue is a fees mm-hmm. our cost is how much is cost to deliver that course mm-hmm. so difference is our gross profit then okay. we have our head expenses like we have our accountant we have a sales and marketing we have a promotion we have outside awarding bodies license so we minus all other expenses then we'll get profit before tax and then we pay the tax on it and will become profit after tax so that profit we can distribute between shareholders and will the same continuity of the question adam limited will go here they have a sales their figure sales figure is given to 4075 less sale return how much people worth of the good return us back so my net sales is there and i'll minus my cost of sale so we normally use the formula cost of sale opening inventory plus purchases less closing inventory in this question we don't have opening and closing inventory we have just purchases we have a purchase return we minus and we'll add the carry in word carry in word mean the delivery charge so that give me my cost of sales cost of sales is here i have so when i'll minus my sale net sale figure from the cost of sale i'll get my gross profit then i have other income other income and my normal business like think about tesco normal business is selling goods consumer goods but they have invested money in property they deposit money in banks they are getting interest from the bank and sometimes they receiving discount if they make the early payment that's called the other income other other income meant by us not our normal operation but we are earning income from other sources so that's also is other income so that's we normally add in profit and loss then we'll minus all our other expenses so we'll get our profit profit is 18710 and then we'll pay tax on it and we'll say profit before tax or profit after tax mm-hmm. any question and a question so okay so next we'll go through now next statement according to our learning outcome mm-hmm. balance sheet which is called statement of financial position because no okay. days we have a international accounting standard companies not only working in one country companies have operation throughout the world so that's why we prepare the statement of financial position so that word we use throughout the world that in the okay. past we used to be different terminologies in different countries but now we are making more standardized things like in education as well lot of discussion going around we can make you know one education system throughout the world but it won't work because culturally different different country different needs so mm-hmm. that's why but in accounting we standardize the thing our statements look like exactly the same and the same meaning in different part of the world okay. people can understand properly those have a basic understanding about accounting are fine so the statement of financial position is as the name is a balance sheet is one of the main statement the statement of financial uh, position is recorded in entity asset liabilities 
and the difference in their total final figure and movement in accounting period. So always we'll say assets equal to liabilities plus stockholders equity. Equity mean the capital. That's called accounting equation. A non-profit organization format will be asset equal to liabilities plus net asset when we'll minus our assets and liabilities become net asset. Like you bought a house, 100,000, 50,000 you paid. So what is your asset? 50,000 is your asset, 50,000 is still, we have to, 50,000 is our capital as well, yes, because 50,000 we minus our liability out of it. That's so that goes in statement of financial position, which shows all our asset, our liabilities, our capital, how much investment we have in a business. Mm -hmm. So normally statement is look like this structure. We follow statement of financial position. First we record the known current asset, asset which we can use more than one year. That's property, plant, equipment, intangible, those assets we can't see, like a goodwill, like a logo, like a, these sort of, you know, those we record in the statement as well. Current asset, asset which carry on chaining in 12 months. Inventory mm -hmm. stock more come go out. So that's called current asset. Trade and other receivable, those are the things which we need to receive from our customer. Cash and cash equivalent, it means the cash we have in our hand or the cash we have in a bank. So that's these all come under the current asset. Uh, then we have equity, equity mean the investment or share capital, share premium. If we are selling shares more than the value of the shares, so we are earning more than that. Like So that's called premium. Return earning the profit, we not distribute it to the shareholders, we return it. So that's called return earning. Revaluation, sometime asset value, we bought land. And the land value is a higher now, that's a revaluation. So that's we record as a capital as well. Then we have a current liability, a uh, known current liability, liability liability minus my debit side is equal to the credit side. So that's all trade payable, the liability, bank cover draft is a liability, tax payable is a liability. Any questions? Uh, question, I think I should get through. Uh, yes, sure, you know, because of course, you know, it's very difficult to synchronize everything and get mm -hmm. to uh, through. So what we can do will when we'll do actual assignment, we'll go through the question together. Yes, okay. but you need to be a basic understanding the which statement, what things show up. Huh? Because otherwise we need to learn full unit debit and credit. But of course, you know, it's very difficult for because it's not a purely accounting course but we need understanding as a hospitality manager will how we can interpret these figures we can use them for decision making purposes yeah. okay next we're looking now is adam's balance sheet we discussed mm -hmm. you know the fixed asset or we call non current asset land building fixture office equipment that's at cost when we bought it and depreciation, we don't have a depreciation on this. Depreciation means revalue of asset. We can increase, decrease. Okay, so that's our net asset value. Then we have a current asset, the asset which we can carry on changing in a year. So then we add them total 180 plus 88585. Then we minus the liability out of them and then we'll say net asset. So we have a net asset 217210. That's my net asset. My net asset always equal to my capital figure. So mm -hmm. capital is mean the investment, the profit of the year if we don't distribute to shareholders so we can return it. That's also is our capital. That's also our investment now. In the business, less drawing. What is meant by drawing? Drawing is meant by anything which we draw for personal use. So mm -hmm. that's what we call the drawings. Okay. Any question? So, can we that if you take money out to buy something for the business or? 
yes so drawing is like you know sometimes so we draw something for personally from business we can or we draw some money for personal use so which okay. reduces capital or investment from the business any question thank you sorry the bit voice you know cut so that's our learning outcome three today where we discuss about statement of profit and loss we also call statement of company and saving income and statement of financial position will show the asset liabilities and capital if you want to see any company so we can so we can find you know the statement online okay so let's now we'll go through assignment we'll see, you know how as our assignment look like and how we can address you know some of the outcome within our assignment so we have a brief online available so we can download so first your question all these learning outcome is addressed in the scenario you think you know you're working recently joined the tourism magazine and magazine specializing in hospitality so you need to be explain these and you need to write article in the magazine so task one is state forward which is we need to explain the purpose of accounting Okay. First lesson we discuss as well. So purpose of accounting to record the business transaction in a systematical way where we can find what's happened, how much money in and out from the business. So all this, and I'll send you uh, for the you know stuff to write as well, or you can do the Google search as well. That we can write about accounting finance. Yes, that's article. Okay. Any question? Um, no, it's in here. Article discussing the status of the company and the providing of the organization bankrupt. So, it should say that we will search to find information. Yeah, so, okay. Those companies don't manage their account properly. <laughs> they don't know how much money in and out, when they in and out, that can be leads to the bankruptcy. Yes? Right, yes. Such as uh, recently, trillion, like a pension fund, 590 million, they misused uh, British home store, lot of liability, not managed the account effectively. Mm -hmm. So, so these are the discussions. Yeah, uh, Sorry, your voice is breaking. And the would it need to be a company that's in tourism or hospitality, or it can be in the industry? Uh, of course, really, we can we can discuss more in the hospitality industry. Like you know, we can say hotel industry. We can maybe discuss about airline industry, like a Ryanair, or mm -hmm. we can discuss about British Gas or various companies because these are hospitality. Tourism and hospitality, of course, and um, hospitality is quite big, you know. It's not only just, you know, travel, is hospitality comes, you know, uh, even the service sector as well, part of it. So, next we looking at uh, article R. You can give your own school examples as well. Yes? Because you need to manage, you have a school, you have a budget, you have a finance department, you need to prepare the statement. If you don't do, you will be deficit. The deficit leads to the poor. Yes, and maybe the Ofsted or various other regulatory bodies can do function. Yes? Mm -hmm. So that's sort of discussion we can, or we can add some examples. The second is, the second is article we need to write about the company. For the people completing start business, sole trader, partnership, and limited company. Lesson one, which we discussed, so that's straight forward. We need to record. If you want to find some information, if you type, you know, the uh, public limited, I can send you a few books as well. And if you type next to that, tutor to you, and you can find, you know, Yes. So we can find what is the public material. Yes, I'll. So 
so that will help to address this question and we can get the information okay uh, in our lessons as well of course you know uh, article public and private sector what is the different public sector is owned by the government private sector is private investor <coughs> public sector is company not uh, key purpose to earn the profit they main purpose to serve the nation yes provide fulfill the needs and wants of the for the public sector they have a key objective to maximize the profit yes but providing value added services that's all sort of discussion can be if you type again public sector private sector different google a taught you to to you we can find next software we discuss about software advantages think about any software in your school or various other have advantages yeah so like sage we can discuss about sage is quite powerful will help us to manage our customer records help us to manage our sales it help us to manage our supply how much we need to pay how much money we are have to receive from us so that we can do all through software we can discuss then next article is uh, recommend recommending three was of the financing for a company three sources of finance basically they should write where we can borrow money we can borrow money from bank we can uh, issue sheet to the public we have already done lesson which will go to next lesson sources of finance yes. so we can borrow the money from different source that helps financing for company issue shares are private investment next article explaining why make an budget and how do with the uh, inspiration with the example really with the, we need to explain illustration so we need to be the two so budget is a financial plan which help us to decide how much money we need to be spend like your school budget and uh, there are different example of budget so to making any budget first of all we need to forecast our sale and the demand for future so we make the budget and budget need to be if we have spent more than the budget we have a variance variance is can be two types is a uh, favorable or adverse we not covered yet we will go through next lesson any question i think so if we start you know the task one yes yeah which is more theoretical so that will help us to finish at least and i'll go through with you as well i'll give you informal feedback few times so we can improve things a second is bad uh, and balanced sheet so bad is a value added tax we discuss that's done the lesson as well we so we have hey today we can go through the problem one so let's will go through the problem one please can we read is it readable yes. so we bought these goods yes 2499 of vat for restaurant whenever we have a vat vat is how much is a vat when we add tax is 20% okay. so it mean this is 120 yes so this figure is including vat so this is asking how much is a vat how much is a vat for excluding vat figure if you want to be excluding that is good thing first you divide divide by 6 2499 divided by 6 will find the vat figure okay can we find okay i'll calculate so we'll go through 2499 divided by 6 state in the easy dust come back here yeah? 
that's where so if i take out where figure out of this amount the remaining will be without that yes so what is the cost excluding that yes? so that's the that's we need to write and we need to show how we can calculate yes working are you divide by 120 and times by 100 you will get the same figure right? Oh. Because we need a hundred percent and including where it is a hundred and twenty percent. Okay, I see. Okay, next. It's not six chicken, six pound and ten, and we need to calculate twenty percent where on it. So calculate twenty percent whenever we need to find adding figures. So if in uh, uncalculated times by what is meant by 20 percent we can write 0.2 yes i can say 1.2 if i'll say 1.2 is give me adding figures 20 percent is so it should be eight pound and 16 pence okay including that are you take 20 percent of this figure and add it so that will yeah. be the same figure eh? So we we write down the question in the the answer. Sorry. So to to the problem, I need to repeat the question and then um, the other sheet. Yes. So really, really, in all the calculation we need to show, you can write the question. Okay. It, you know, you can show the calculation problem one for time right. to, but yeah. we'll 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 go through the solving as well. Yes. So we'll go through the uh, problem two in the next lesson, huh? because that's right. quite good, and that will go through all these. I'll I'll go through with you bank reconciliation. Huh? So that will go through next lesson. And uh, we'll try if we can. You know, I'll try to be prepared for you, and I'll quickly demonstrate all transactions. Uh, double entry bookkeeping. This we need to record in general, and then we can prepare the balance sheet, and we can prepare the T accounts. Uh, all these three, all these three statements we need to trial balance, balance sheet, and income statements for this period. Any question? Okay, sorry, your voice is breaking today. I don't know what the reason. So, so, so please, if you have any questions, just drop me an email. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So today we learn about trial balance, which is balance board, debit and credit, all the legends. Uh, balance is transferred to the trial balance. Then from the trial balance, we prepare different sort of statements. Yeah. Today we discuss about profit and loss, which is also known as a statement of comprehensive income, which shows income and expenses. Second statement we discuss about balance sheet, which also known as a statement of financial position, which shows asset, liabilities, and capital. Mm -hmm. So that's all we we'll need to hear. So next lesson we'll go through our remaining elements. Okay, great. Have a nice weekend. If you have any question, you can ask me. Hello. I don't know why the voice is breaking really and okay. Uh, have a good weekend. Uh, okay. Have a nice weekend. I'll in the next lesson I'll mix I don't know why what's the problem. Can you hear me properly? I can't hear you properly. I can hear you a little bit cracks, but yes, I can hear you. Uh, yes, because of the voice, you know, really breaking yeah. when I'm I'm not getting you fully enough. I think maybe the connection issues are something. So we'll try next lesson. Maybe a
can I add a Wi-Fi connection? I'll use other connection. Okay. So please, if any question, any question, you can drop me email. If you go to this bit, please, uh, I'm going to drop you, uh, and I have a books as well. I'll try to send them. Uh, I'll try to be okay. uploaded. Okay. So those will help. Okay. Thank you. If you if you start writing task one, yes, yeah, and uh, I will go through the reference. I'll I'll explain you for that as well, and I'll improve the structure. Huh? Okay. And then we'll start. You know, the task two is a bit numerical. Yes. Yeah? Uh, problem one is find shape like we discussed. Problem two and problem three we will go through. Huh? And have a nice weekend. Have a nice time. Okay, so